Hey, Brian here. If you know anything about me, I get really obsessed about certain solutions to problems, you know, large hoses, pulling cores, all that kind of thing for vacuum and recovery. But one of the things that I'm actually really excited about and we've implemented in our business for several years is using pigs or plugs forced through a line set in order to clean it rather than using solvents or nitrogen alone, which I've found to be completely ineffective. So we've done it using a couple different products, but I couldn't be more excited about this new system from Hillmore. They're just calling it line set cleaner. The name is uh, pretty straightforward, but they've done it in a really elegant way and they've worked on the design in order to optimize everything that you need in order to clean a line set easily, whether you're just using the pig or whether you're also using a chemical ahead of it to ensure that you get really good cleaning of a line set as well as making sure you don't leave any residual. All right, so let's take a look at what is in this bad boy. It's a really nice case. That's the first thing that I notice is that it's all together easy to slide on your shelf on the truck comes with throw directions it's one of the things that they tested is the pressure they suggest using 60 psi and if it doesn't go through to just force it back the other way because then the restriction is too great it's nice that they've sort of clarified some of that first thing you're going to notice is the launcher that they use to push the plugs through to clean the line set it's actually really nice, it has a nice hand feel to it. It's got the, just your standard quarter inch connector on the base. Here's the coolest part. That's where you insert the plug or pig, whatever you want to call it, pig is actually the technical name. Then you attach the appropriate size. They're all clearly marked with the size of tubing that goes on it. They all have a constant tension clamp that attaches this piece of flexible tubing to the actual adapter. Then it has a nice tension band that's actually Got the thumb attachment on it to make it a little easier to tighten and loosen. Um, if this were to ever break or fail uh, or wear out or strip, then you could just use a standard band clamp that you could buy from any hardware store or any auto parts store. So it's nice that it kind of uses various typical parts. One thing you definitely want to do before you attach this to your tubing is make sure you ream the end first because otherwise when the pigs or plugs go through, it can damage the edges on them. Another kind of extra move you can use with line sets that are really dirty is you can put just a little bit of pro flush or a whole can however much you want down the line first and then follow it with the plugs if you do that just make sure that you catch it on the other end so that way you don't uh, have that stuff kind of flying out uh, because it is something that you need to kind of account for and catch you'll notice that changing these is really easy they have a nice seal on them it's all made of aluminum very nice manufacturing and again it all fits back nicely into the case now let's take a look at the plugs we're going to suggest that you use a new one every time uh, but you can probably get a couple uses uses out of them if you want to go that direction especially if you're going to use chemical though they're probably not going to last quite as long you got our three eighths half inch five eighths three quarter and seven eighths and then we also have a catch net that you put at the over the end of the tubing you just use this to kind of zip down on it so that way it catches the pig when it goes out and again I would suggest putting like an oil pan or something underneath the tubing on the outside as well to kind of catch it um, so that way you don't could just go shooting it all over um, what you can do is if it's kind of pointing upwards or whatever you can place a rag over it kind of over this catch net so that it catches it and then just have like a pan or something underneath it to catch any of the residual but it's also a nice thing to do because you can see what was actually in it a little bit easier um, which just gives you a sense of the of the internal condition i also want to show the manufacturing on these plugs is very consistent you're going to find some other brands where the manufacturing is a little um there, there's maybe little burrs or pieces that can come off and again not necessarily a big deal as long as it all gets blown out but we don't want to leave any pieces inside the system and so having nice firm plugs that still are you know still can flex but are manufactured very smooth is advantageous so that way we don't leave anything in the lines and also last longer that way too but the nice thing about this this is going to do a much better job than just using a flush or a nitrogen alone and it's also going to make sure that all that residual is actually removed from the lines if you've done it before with flushes or nitrogen you'll notice that a lot of times nothing comes out trust me when you use this line set cleaner kit you're going to find a lot more stuff comes out of the lines so that's it the line set cleaner kit by Hillmore, available soon anywhere quality tools are sold. And if they don't have it, well, ask for it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, 
videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.